Okay. So, unless you've been living, like, under a rock, you, you probably know about Fortnite Season 8. And, I mean, let, let's just say that it, it brought some pretty sick stuff. So, uh, I, I mean, I, I haven't really done a Mythbusters video in a long time. So, just like always, go leave a quick comment down below of a unique myth you would like me to test in the next or future episodes. And I mean, if you don't have a myth you would like me to test, just literally comment anything. Comment down like a random trap in the game, or like a combination of weapons. Anything usually helps spark an idea, at least for me to think of a unique myth, or even some other viewers. It's you guys who keep this series alive, because honestly, all these myths come from you guys. I don't really make any of them up, so thank you. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin today's episode. Jumping into the first myth, the first myth is, what happens when you jump into the volcano while you are boogie bombed? In game when I tested this out, there was this ledge just hovering right over the volcano, I threw down a boogie bomb and while I was dancing, I jumped straight into it and as you can see, the boogie bomb effect totally cancelled out, but what was still interesting was how the disco was still hanging above my player's head. This was very similar to how when you are boogie bombed and you jump on a launch pad which we did test a few episodes back, when you do jump on the launch pad or even into this volcano, the disco is still above the player's head but if you land on the ground or just even fly up, you will no longer be dancing and everything will just cancel out. Knowing this may come into play someday if you are having a fight next to this area but who knows. Going into the next myth, the next myth is, what happens when you drop a cannon into the middle of the volcano? To do this, I just walked down to the bottom of the volcano next to the pirate ship and you can find quite a few cannons just hanging up on the ledge or even a few inside. When I brought it up to the top of the volcano, I just let it roll in by itself and as you can see, when it did land on the ground, it just kind of like half of it went into the lava while the other half just kind of floated above. Now, what was interesting about it was when I was gliding above it, you could see that I was spamming E and sometimes I was able to flip it almost as if I was able to get back onto it and push it around. Whenever the cannon would land up on top of its wheels, it would just bounce like crazy which you will see this will have a very similar effect on other items in the game later on in today's episode but this was very interesting, sadly I was unable to get back onto it, I was only able to flip the cannon back up to its right side. But it definitely is pretty interesting on how the lava actually has an effect on many items as well as the cannons. You wouldn't really expect the Fortnite devs to add something like this into the game. The next myth is, what happens when you drop a cannon on top of a launch pad? This was a very, very highly requested myth. Right when the season came out, I started getting comments about this. So I placed down a launch pad in creative and I built a little platform for me to just drive the cannon straight up to it and literally just drop it straight on. But when I did test this in game, when I did land on the launch pad, very similar to many other items like the shopping cart, it automatically detached my player from the cannon. The cannon did bounce up maybe like one to two walls high, but other than that, Everything was the exact same as if you were to jump on the launch pad like regular. This was basically the exact same as if you were to do this with a shopping cart or even just any other items. You can't really bounce on the launch pad while holding something, otherwise it'll automatically detach you and make you fly. Going into the next myth, the next myth is, what happens when you shoot a cannonball at an unbreakable object in Fortnite's map? To do this, there was only one place I really could think and that is Loot Lake, these like purple cube parts I, I don't even know what you call these but as you can see when you do shoot at it, it it literally does nothing it's as if you shoot into like the side of a mountain it's built-in terrain the you these are unable to be broken cannonballs they, they don't make any difference otherwise we, we would have known these items would have broke it a very long time ago but I guess uh, interesting myth Next myth is, what happens when you throw a dynamite in the volcano, or what happens with other grenades? Will they disappear in the lava? I first tested this out with a dynamite, and as you can see, when the dynamite did hit the lava, it looked as if it bounced up pretty high, similar to how the cannon actually does. The next thing I tested was the bottle rockets. When I threw the bottle rockets, I expected them to bounce up, but when they did land, they just started shooting off like normal. With the bottle rockets being down there in the lava, I thought they would take damage and possibly even break, but I did try and throw down another bottle rocket, I timed them both, and they were the exact same time, so the lava didn't do any damage to it at all. 
After that, I threw down a boogie bomb just to see what would happen. Nothing really happened as you guys probably would expect. And lastly, I threw down some stink bombs and when they did hit the lava, the cloud just formed up right at the very bottom of the lava. Nothing too special, just regular how you would really expect it. Now jumping into the myth that was the most requested out of any, what happens when two cannonballs collide in mid-air? This myth actually was very, very, very difficult to do. It took me so long to do because not only did I have to do it with my second account, which is on a phone, shooting the cannon, I had to get both cannonballs to line up perfectly in mid-air and actually collide and get it to a point where you could visually easily see that they collided. To do this, I went into creative and the best way to do it was to set up two platforms literally equal space from each other and build a wall and aim both cannons in the exact same place. From there, shooting it a couple of times, hopefully making both of them collide in mid-air, I, I really didn't see any effect from here, but I did go into replay to actually confirm that they did collide. In the replay mode, you could clearly see that both cannons actually did make contact with each other and after going inside of them, you could see that one did in fact go through the other so they aren't an actual hitbox, unlike how we know rockets are and even like grenades and such. But once the cannonballs did collide and I did resume the gameplay, you could see that they, they didn't have any effect on each other at all, they just kinda kept flying as if they didn't even make contact at all. This is definitely very interesting, I am now wondering if you could actually rocket ride these cannonballs. The next myth is, what happens when you place a trap on the edge of the ledge in the bottom of the volcano? If you don't know already, you could place down a floor on the edge of this ledge in the volcano and if you do step on it, it will be destroyed, so does this exact same thing happen with the traps? It's interesting how you can place down a ledge and it gets destroyed, but it doesn't get destroyed if no one touches it, but this exact same thing ended up happening with the trap as well. To be honest, I don't know why they would really make it like this, like what's the point of this? Why, why could you build off to the edge and have it not be destroyed until you touch it? I then built up a little one by one and it all destroyed but this one wall which I was still able to edit and as you can see it literally made a floating wall which I did destroy when I did make contact with it obviously. Jumping into the next myth, the next myth is, what happens when you drive a golf cart into the volcano? What about hoverboards, shopping carts, etc, etc? I first tested this myth out with the golf cart which I got from the race car track uh, which I, I don't see anyone use it, it's, it's kind of pointless now. But when I did drive it into the volcano, similar to how the cannon was, it literally just kept bouncing around on its wheels just continuously. It, it, it wouldn't really do anything too special at all. It hardly took any damage, so I don't really see like what's the whole point of all of this. It is obviously very, very difficult to get your vehicle out of this situation if you do get it in here because, I mean, it, it literally just it continuously bounces and you have no control as to where it goes unless you could like somehow land on like the edge perfectly. But of course I wanted to see if this was the exact same with all other vehicles so I then tried this with the hoverboard and I jumped into the volcano from the tip top thinking like the wind would push me up but when I did land in the lava surprisingly it had no effect at all. I was able to just still kind of glide around and just skate on my hoverboard just like normal as if I wasn't even in any lava at all. One thing that I thought was pretty funny though was when I did jump and I did boost you could see that my player he kind of goes underneath the lava all the way up to his knees sometimes up to his hips if you are lucky. Unlike lava down at like the very bottom of the volcano you don't take any damage at all so it, it doesn't really make any sense. After getting off the hoverboard then back on you could see that the wind finally did take effect and it did launch me straight up into the sky but I then floated straight back down just like nothing ever happened. The quad crusher Sally was the exact same as a golf cart it just kind of bounced around uh, no nothing too special and same with the shopping cart the shopping cart you would uh you'd land on it it would it would bounce and right when you get off it's it's basically impossible to get back onto the shopping cart. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of the Fortnite Mythbusters. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, also subscribe if you are new to the channel. Leave a quick comment down below of a unique myth you would like me to test in the next or future episodes. I'll try to read as many of the unique myths as I can, and I will see you guys next time.